Hi folks, Tony at Travel Scoot again. Uh, in this short video, we're going to focus on the folding and unfolding of the Travel Scoot. We've explained this, uh, I thought, quite thoroughly in prior videos, as well as our manual, but we do get this question from time to time, particularly if somebody's had their scooter uh, unfolded and in use and has not broken it down for a long time or if they've had it in storage. I'm going to have Kevin swing around here just to point to the two locking pins really quickly. These are the locking pins. When the scooter is upright and unfolded, sitting on the floor or whatever, they are in this position. I'm just going to fold it up real quick just to illustrate how they can fold underneath. Okay, now they are down here. That's because the trailing arms swing. Now they're in this position. I'm going to remove the front wheel very quickly just to make this whole thing a little easier to see. Okay, now to unfold, you want to make sure that your rear wheels are supported, like on the floor, for example. If they are not, I'm just going to lift this one up. The shear force, the scissoring force on this pin makes it difficult to push in. I'm going to illustrate that by putting, yeah, moderate finger pressure on here. Slowly have the wheel come down and touch. And oh, looky there. That's all it takes. Okay, so when you go to unfold it, push in one locking pin at a time, jiggle it apart gently until it starts to move off the lock position. Go over to the other side, jiggle it apart a little bit, and now gently pull the steering column towards you. Snap and snap. There are different ways of doing it. Um, I do it frequently enough, as you might imagine, and this is my preferred position to do it in. Uh, you can do it sitting down with the front in your lap, for example. Uh, what you need to remember is wheels on the floor or supported, and you don't need to push in both pins at the same time or anything like that. Once you have one pin off the lock position and the trailing arm moved in the, I'll say, transitional range, the pin is not going to snap back into place unless you move it back to the lock position or the fully open position. Now we recommend that you try to avoid that because it's a pain in the butt to deal with that gangly thing st sticking halfway out there uh, with a half unfolded scooter. Okay, once again. Push it in, open a little bit, push in the other one, jiggle it apart if you have to. Snap, snap, down we go. All right, when it comes time to fold it back up, we're gonna show you what happens, or doesn't happen. When you have the seat assembly, i.e. the yoke, and or the battery in place. Okay, this is what holds the rear wheels apart, structurally. Also, with the battery in here, the rear wheels aren't gonna to wanna to fold together unless you're strong enough to crush this battery. Now, you can maybe get that one to unlock. Yep, sort of, but nothing happens. I can't fold up my scooter, what's wrong? Simple. These items are what spread the rear wheels apart. The battery, just by the, you know, by virtue of the fact that it's sitting in here, and the seat assembly, because this is structurally what forms the base of the triangle. And this is what gives you that additional structural strength, strength that allows you to put 10 times the scooter weight on the scooter and ride it around. Anyway, let's remove the seat and the battery. So there's to it. I'm going to do it again. Once again, push in one pin at a time. Let's start with the one on the left. Jiggle it over. Fold it over this way a little bit. Go to the right. Now they're both off the locked position. And you can bring them together by hand. Kick them together with your feet if it's on the floor. That's all there's to it.
One other short note. This is a hinge mechanism. There has to be a little bit of play in this thing. When you go to insert, insert the yoke, you might find that there's a little bit of misalignment here. It doesn't take much to get it back together. I'm going to try to exaggerate that a little bit. It would appear that that's the best way to do it. Okay, if you insert this here, and oh yeah, we're misaligned a little bit. If it's on the floor, you can do that with your feet and just by giving a little shove with your foot. And that's all it takes. So a little bit of misalignment is normal. Anyway, that's all there's to it. Thanks for watching and happy scooting.